Well, hey guys, I am here in my our homeschool room, sitting at my desk, and I'm gonna start some Disney planning. So, let's be honest here. I have been Disney planning for a while now, like full on, all in. It's what I do in my spare time. I am just so excited about this upcoming trip, and um, it's been so fun to just kind of research all the things and look at all the restaurant menus and plan all the things that we want to do and just soaking it all in. But we are coming down on crunch time where we're going to start to need to pack soon and really start buying those things that we need for our trip. I placed an Amazon order recently um, and picked up a few things that we were going to need. Um, uh, some ponchos. I know I could probably get those like at the dollar store or something, but funny thing about this particular time in my life I were one vehicle family and my husband is away and he's been gone for almost three weeks and so I hardly am able to get out of my house um so it was just easier to place an order on Amazon um I can't remember what all they got but um definitely placed an order for a bunch of things for our trip um I've got a few minutes before dinner is um, calls me and I have to pull it out of the oven. So I'm just going to start writing a few packing lists. Um, I did share with you my entire Disney World planner and I've been diligently writing in it and it's been oh so fun. I have got my mini, mini sweatshirt here um, and the sleeve is super cute. Let me show you. So... I'm all in. I'm so excited. So I'm going to go ahead and um, flip the camera around and start writing some stuff. And got to love that sun. It's like lighting up the room. Okay, let's go. So one thing I did want to say about this video is this is probably going to be a conglomeration of several days. Um, I'm definitely not finished here within this few minutes that I have to set aside to plan. Um, this is going to be a few days worth of things that we're doing to get ready, so, yay. Well, hey guys, I am actually at my in-laws house. We are um, spending the weekend here and um, it's kind of, it feels like a little retreat away, uh, which is just so fun. So next to me, I've got my laptop and I'm watching Disney packing videos, which are so fun. And on my lap, I have got some more um, planning stuff. I'm writing the packing lists right now. I don't know if you can hear any walking, but it's someone up above I'm in the lower um in the basement area I guess it's all finished and stuff but um so I'm writing packing lists I thought I would just share with you quickly what I am up to and yeah I am like knee deep in writing out you know the things that we're gonna wear and stuff like that and just kind of noticing any kind of gaps that are anywhere with like our clothes for instance um last summer I was pregnant um and I just I'm missing like a lot of shorts and things uh because it's been a couple of years since I've worn shorts I guess so at least a year almost two um and yeah so I need to kind of just fill in a few gaps in my own wardrobe and my kiddos have grown as well so um it's I can't com fully complete their packing lists um just because they need some extra things and I have to physically go through their clothes and find out like what shorts and stuff that they're missing I'm making um all of our Disney t-shirts so I ordered those tonight um just the blank t-shirts and I went to Michael's as well and I picked up some heat transfer vinyl I have some at home already but I needed some more um there's also going to be a sale at Michael's February 
15th through the 21st. The 21st is my birthday. Um, and I'm going to get some more vinyl. So uh, some glitter and just if I need more for the, the design. So anyways, I'll flip you around real quick and show you what I'm up to tonight. Okay, so I've got my binder here. Aubrey drew this little picture of me, and I think it's the cutest thing ever. I just have been keeping it here in my um, my binder. I've got a little note here um, to remember a few things to look up and a few things that need to be taken care of. And I'm kind of in the packing part of my binder. And I'm working on packing list. So I've got all of his toiletries and some of these things like he'll obviously just double up with his sister like the toothpaste and um, body wash and stuff um, and all of his little items. So I think I've mentioned we're taking a really long road trip as part of this um, driving down and I'm kind of mostly just writing packing lists for the day or two prior as well as the day or two after our trip um, kind of including it like with clothing and stuff like that um, we'll be able to wash clothes along the way and I'm just not totally worried about what we're wearing in the car I'll know that I'll definitely pack like comfy pants and shirts that are comfy and necess not necessarily good shirts so that you know if we're eating in the car and the kiddos spill or whatever like we're not you know it's not fancy stuff so um anyways just got all his little list of things here and um he has a purple blanket that he always sleeps with and a seahorse and then a ticker um sensi buddy and some toys for the car his spending money um we're gonna do i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do index cards for their autograph book and then I'll assemble the books at home so we'll just have to deal with index cards rather than just like cute little books and have the potential of ruining them so his shoes some flip-flops just for like the pool and stuff he has a pair of crocs that he loves to wear and are super comfortable for him so we um, we're going to bring those and some regular like shoes sneakers um, sunglasses, a water bottle, a hat, and then a pressed penny kit. So basically by that, I'm just meaning we're going to get those little mini M&M tubes and we'll fill them with a penny and um, two pennies and a quarter, or is it a penny and two quarters? I think, I think it's a penny and two quarters. It's like, um, and so I'm going to get those assembled before we leave and um, we'll want to make sure that he brings that. And then I just started doing his clothes so anyways that's what I'm up to um with our Disney prep tonight well hey guys it's another fun mail day um we got the blank t-shirts that I'm gonna use to put the heat transfer vinyl on and um, to make our own kind of custom Disney shirts so I'd placed an order with a company called Wardens here in Canada um they have some of the best options I have found like with all my researching for um, blank t-shirts and so I picked out a whole bunch of colors and I'm hoping they're gonna be good um, and yeah so the box came and we're gonna open it and see everything okay so here are all the shirts um, so I ordered some for Aubrey, Colt, and myself, and I ordered one for my husband. I think I'm going to be able to get him shirts just here in town that will work. Um, I ordered him one that I think will work well for him, but, um, I initially I was going to go to Michael's to get the Gildan brand, um, but they did not have an extra small, and that's what Colt would need, and so Aubrey will do the smalls, but... Oh, these are so much better. Okay, so at Wa or at Michael's, the shirt sleeves were so long, they were like down to her elbow. And I just, I don't like that look. Um, and these sleeves are so much shorter, which is just so much better. Um, so, yes, oh my gosh, like look at this color. This is one for Aubrey. Oh my gosh, that is such a pretty color. And then this one's for Colt, and he is going to look so good in that. Um, this is a shirt for me. Ah, oh, that 
purple so pretty and let's see this is this is for Aubrey and then this one's for Colt and then I have this shirt I actually have one of these shirts um, in this very same color and I ordered myself um, this print or this exact shirt anyways because I knew um, I knew what it would be like and I knew that it fit um, oh my gosh, I ordered two of these neon pink shirts for myself. Oh, it is like living up to my expectations. It's gorgeous. So we got lots of white shirts. Some for myself and the kiddos. And this is um, a shirt for Colt. This will be for his incredible shirt. It's a really nice red. I don't know if it's coming up the same on the camera that it is in person, but it's a really nice red. And then Colt got some black shirts. I know like if we were going in the summer, it wouldn't, I would not put him in black because you know, black attracts heat, but we're going in very early spring, like early March. And, um, I'm not too worried. I think he'll be fine. And then this is for Colt and oh, that's so pretty. Um, that's for Aubrey. And then this one's for Aubrey as well. Light pink. And then this is a green one for myself. Oh my gosh. And I have officially decided that I am just going to order. Um, I tend to really like to wear just plain t-shirts and um, shorts and stuff during the summer. I like plain shirts. And it's really difficult sometimes to find the colors that I'm looking for. And now that I know that I can order just from a blank t-shirt site and find like stinking gorgeous colors that I love, I'm just going to do that from now on rather than paying like overpriced prices <laughs> at like Old Navy or just another store for t-shirts. Oh, this is the one for my husband. And I love the feel of this. I think he's going to love that too. So he... Oh, I wish I could just order him some. The shipping was really fast. It's like two day shipping. Um, I placed the order, I think Saturday and today is Tuesday and it was here. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. He's out of town. And so I just, I can't, I don't know. Anyways, I, I don't know what I'm saying. I love this color. This is for me. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. So so I've got like all of my vinyl here that I've already cut and I'm waiting, I was waiting for the shirts to come. So I'm actually going to do some practice testing, I think on just regular fabric or like a really crappy shirt. Um, so that I can make sure I've got things down before I'm actually printing on our good shirts. But this order came, I'm more, more than happy and I'm so thrilled to finally start being in our shirts. Yay. It's feeling really real. Okay, so I have got this shirt that I actually pulled out of the thrift store bin that we were going to donate. Um, and I actually, I cut this wrong. I got too excited and I forgot to flip the image. So this was, vi or yeah, heat transfer vinyl HTV that was just garbage as it was. So I'm just going to practice on this shirt um, and it'll all be backwards. But this is a design I made myself. My son loves Elastigirl. And it's kind of a play on the fact that they're super. So the last girl is super. Um, so anyways, I've got my iron here and I've got it set to the cotton setting. And I've got my parchment paper as well. And my little ones are in their incredible suits because they love the incredible. So we're going to let the iron heat up and then I'm going to go ahead and get this ironed on. So it worked. Um, yay! 
Yay! The little corner of the R here didn't initially iron down, but they do tell you, Colty, you're scaring me here, buddy. <laughs> um, they do tell you to put the um, parchment paper on top and then iron again, so it worked perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So, it worked! My little guy can, yeah, you can feel it. Can wear this around the house or just, this will be a test, a test shirt for me. Um, okay, you are scaring me with this iron, man. Okay, why don't you move away, Cole? I can give it to you. How about that? Yeah. So we are in a winter wonderland. This is the snow we will be escaping when we go to Disney World. It's beautiful. It looks like we're in a snow globe today. Okay, so I'm getting ready to iron on my transfer for my Peter Pan shirt, Happy Fat Thinker. Um, I just am waiting for my iron to heat up and then I'm going to go ahead and iron it on. So it's another day. We are officially 16 days away from a reservation, but we are leaving much earlier than that. So um, I pulled this bin down. This actually just stays in my closet, and I thought I would go ahead and pull out any of the little baggies and different things that I would need. Um, I think I'm going to maybe pull this out because this is a little jewelry case from 31. I don't think I can open it one-handed, um, but you can put your jewelry. Sorry about that, my camera cut out. Um, anyways, I'm going to just pull this out because I may end up taking this. Um, this is a wet bag, and I'm going to bring that. Um, I think I'm going to change out my wallet into this. I've got like a little slim card case that I'm going to take into the park so I don't have to carry a big wallet around. But I'm going to switch out my purse um, before we leave, and the purse that I'm using... Um, I, I don't know. I'm just going to put it in a different wallet. Um, I've also got, let's see, I don't know. Oh, we got this luggage tag. And let's see. Um, I think I'm going to pull out these cases. I've got a matching, I've got three of these that are all the same. I've got two. I've got three of these that are all the same. I've got two in here. Um, I think I'm, I have the Vera Bradley tote bag that goes with this, so I'm going to take that for my car bag, so I'm going to pull those out. And then these are just some clutches, and I don't think I'm going to need any of those. So, um, and then I have this bag here. This is designed for like an iPad, so I don't know if I'm going to bring this for my iPad, um, and maybe some books and things. I don't know. I'm... I'm all about organizing my bags with little cases and stuff. So I'm going to pull it out. If I don't need it, it's just easy to tuck away. So I've got these things out. And then I pulled out this 31 bag. Um, and I have just started to put things in. So I've got a couple pairs of pajama pants. Um, and I've got, I've got some clothes here on the floor and my toiletry bag already packed that actually needs to be unpacked and repacked um but I'm just gonna start sort of start getting things around and starting to put them in the bags all right so I pulled this little bag down this has a lot of stuff that I just throw into my purse um I don't carry it all the time, obviously, because it's tucked away in my closet. But we've got one of these chargers. My husband has a really good, um, uh, what do you call it, like power bank, and it can charge up to seven times. So we're going to bring that into the park for sure. But I am going to bring this one along as well because, you know, um, I'll probably throw one of those in. My earbuds. Um, this is like a coffee koozie thing and that could be good and this is like the little card thing that I'm gonna take this one just has some gift cards and I think I'll take the other one the other one's pink pink glitter um oh and I've got a whole lot of money in here that's fun and what is even in here oh I make myself laugh it's like filled with pens like why 
why is that in my closet? Oh my gosh. And there's, ooh, there's paper flare, flares in there. I'm like, what the heck? All right, time to go through this thing because that holds some fun writing utensils. Okay, and then there's change. Like, all right, let's get that all taken care of. Okay, so I've got everything in the bag, um, and as I go along and come across things that need to be put away for our trip, I'm just going to stick them in here and have one spot for them. Um, I do have a bag going in the kiddos' room for all of their stuff, but yeah, packing is going to start happening really soon. Well, hey guys, we are getting ready for Disney. I feel like I keep popping in to share little snippets of what we're up to, but Disney is coming fast and furious and I'm not ready. Um, for as long as we've had to prepare, it's almost not a lot of time. Um, as I watch all of these like Disney packing and prepping videos, people are prepping like 90 days in advance and 100 days in advance which is only 10 more days, but anyways, um, we've only known that we were going to go on the trip for a couple months, um, and I've been in full-on prep mode for a while, but now that it comes down to the wire where we are packing and getting all ready, I'm feeling the crunch, <laughs> but it's a good crunch. So today is Saturday, and we leave on Tuesday. Um, Tuesday, we're going to go get the truck um, an oil change and just, you know, checked over. It's a new truck, so I'm sure it's fine, but, you know, we're putting a lot of miles on it with our road trip. So we're going to um, do that on Tuesday and then head out just after that's done. Um, so... Whew, a lot to do today. Um, I am going to start the packing process and I have a few more shirts to cut. So I've done, I've cut um, heat transfer vinyl for almost all of our wardrobe um, and kind of designed our own shirts to wear for our Disney days. Um, I need to do laundry. I've got some in already. Um, there's a lot to do <laughs> and I've sort of felt like I'm running around with like a chicken with my head cut off with no real point in purpose because there's so much to do. Namely, my house looks like a bomb went off. Like the whole thing is just basically a disaster. Um, but I'm going to like deep clean the house on Monday before we leave. So my goal is to have all the packing done this weekend and then Monday do the last bit of laundry that needs done, change our sheets and um, deep clean the house. And so deep cleaning, you know, vacuuming all the surfaces, doing a good mop, cleaning the bathroom really well, just, you know, all that little kind of stuff so that we come home to a nice tidy house and with the kids' bedrooms all cleaned up. We did Aubrey's the other day. We did like a whole like deep clean, like got rid of like two bags of garbage kind of clean, a bunch of donations. Um, and so she's maintained that really well. So hers is just a quick tidy and Colt's. It's disaster zone. <laughs> um, so anyways, I'm going to quit kind of blabbing here and I'm going to um, finish tidying up my living room and I don't know what next. Something. Something. So I thought I'd show you. This is our little drop zone of all the stuff that we're taking. Um, these are some of the shirts on top that I made. And... Um, clothes and all the things. The living room is a mess. We were finishing up this puzzle this morning. So this is a thousand piece puzzle um, and this is the brand, the Ravensburger brand puzzle and it's got all these Pixar movies. So we finished that up this morning and just everything is kind of a disaster <laughs> that was on the coffee table. We've got laundry, the laptop is set up to the TV because we're watching um, movies on this little thing right there. We have hundreds of Disney movies, like hundreds. All of the like really obscure ones, like just tons. So we've connected it to the laptop, to the TV, and we can just um, play it on the TV rather than the laptop. So this is all stuff that was on the coffee table. We had breakfast in the... Um, here in the living room while we did the puzzle and that stuff needs to go back to the kitchen. I'm kind of just fluffing up my pillows and getting things tidy because I can't, I can't function 
in a dirty house or a cluttered house, I guess I should say. I just can't. So I'm going to work on just tidying up this space so that when it comes time for me to start all the packing, <laughs> um, it's good to go. So these are the kids' shirts up here. And one of my husband's. Um, well, that was great. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like indicative of my day. So this one is one I designed for Colt. I'm so upset though because these shirts, I ordered him an extra small. This is Gildan brand. Um, and it is like, it's so huge on him. Like it's really upsetting. <laughs> it's so big. Um, so anyways, they are 100% cotton. So the next laundry load, all the shirts are going in and we're going to try and shrink them because poor kiddo is swimming. But I made this one, little Donald. And a poo face. Lost boys. And then he's so excited about this one because he loves Elastigirl. Like he pretends he's Elastigirl. He just loves her to bits. Um, this one I made for Aubrey. It's his best friends forever. So we have the Winnie the Pooh breakfast, uh, our very first thing that we're doing once we, you know, have our park tickets, like our first park day is that, um, and I made this one for my husband, oh bother, and yeah, and that's Pooh Bear, and then this file I got, I ordered on Etsy, and I wasn't happy with it, um, the design is super cute, but she had this circle going all the way around and my Cricut, like it didn't cut, like it cut it, but the lines are so fine that it didn't quite go all the way around. And I don't think it really makes that big of a difference. Like nobody's going to be looking that closely, but I was a little disappointed because the des I bought two designs online and I wasn't happy with the designs I bought. They're so cute because I love the fonts and it's like the real dingle hopper with the curve and like, I love the designs, but I don't know. They just, I don't, they didn't transfer well onto heat transfer vinyl. So I made this one for Aubrey. She wanted all the Incredibles, and then she wanted it to say, I'm incredible. And so I have another shirt for Colt, and I'm going to cut him this file as well and make him that shirt. And then I did this one for Aubrey. These are all little hearts that I heat transferred on as well. And this was another file that I had bought and it was supposed to have like all this like little twinkly pixie dust and it was just such of a, a such a fine design that it didn't cut all the way through and it just bugs me because as you can see like these little teeny tiny things like they cut but the other stuff was just so fine that it wouldn't cut. It did on my shirt because I cut this file for myself and it did for me because um, it was because I just make the design larger so it blows it up a bit more but I don't know just a little disappointed by that and then I did this one for Colt too so anyways these will have to go into the washing machine to get washed and we'll have to do a couple loads because I'm not washing like the black shirt with you know light pink and white and stuff so anyways that's where I'm at so far so I guess while I'm showing the kids shirts I should show you mine so this is um, zippity doo dah this is um, a design I made and then this is a design I bought have courage and be kind and so I have to recut this one for Aubrey I stupidly forgot to mirror the image um, so that it would transfer right. Ugh, so frustrating to waste vinyl. Um, so I have to recut that for her, but we're going to have the same shirt. And yeah, I liked that design. And then this is one I designed, a little Main Street Magic, and I put a little heart. So there's a heart in some of my designs, so if you are new to my channel, we're going um, to kind of honor and celebrate our son who passed away. Um, as a he was a baby um he was due march 3rd and that'll be our first day in the park and his name is heart um and so i just added a heart to some of my shirts just kind of carry him with us um yeah so i love this one 
And so this is my shirt for the Winnie the Pooh breakfast. And so the Winnie the Pooh breakfast, um, we when our son passed for his memorial service and um, even before that, Winnie the Pooh was like a big theme for us. And so for his memorial service, like his bulletin and some of the giveaway things that we had for people, um, we all just had like classic Winnie the Pooh and... I don't know. There's just a whole lot of Winnie the Pooh tied up in our son. Um, and so anyways, we're doing that our first day and a friend of mine bought ears for us, Winnie the Pooh ears. And I did go ahead and cut a little heart silhouette out, um, for heart. And so I designed this one and I made this one powered by pixie dust and coffee. We're going to meet Tinkerbell and Peter Pan is my absolute favorite character besides Mary Poppins. They're like tied. Um, and so I'm going to meet, wear this when I meet Tinkerbell and then I have this one best day ever. I wanted to make the balloon like glitter or something, but honestly, I just ran out of money. Vinyl is like expensive. Um, and yeah, but I just still love that. Um, I've got another one. It says happy thought thinker and it has, I, it may already be in the vlog. I'm not sure, but it has Peter Pan on it and happy thought thinker. Um, and then I'm going to do a dingle hopper one for myself because I have a purple shirt and, um, so I'm going to do dingle hopper for myself. And then I think that's it for me. But I did cut a Mary Poppins vinyl for myself, but I don't have a t-shirt, so I don't know if I'm going to get a shirt before we leave, but I've got more than enough shirts <laughs> for our trip. Um, I can't wait to wear them. Okay, so I have to show you guys this outfit. So here's the Dingle Hopper shirt, and I got Aubrey these um, leggings from Walmart and they've got like little shiny circles on them and I thought this would be the cutest outfit to wear into the park but unfortunately it is going to be hot while we're there um, initially the temperatures look like they would be in the 70s but now it's like you know 85 so um, I do have turquoise shorts for her to wear but I just had loved these two things together but she can wear it when she comes home because she's coming home to a ton of snow